You're unbelievable <laughs> You're unbelievable. Welcome to Mastercast TV, and this is yet another mail call. As you can see here, it came Royal Mail. Yes, aren't we fancy? Yes, this came from the UK. <laughs> and I'm really excited because this is another homebrew game. So it's it's a new game in a sense. It's new to me. But oh boy. This actually came courtesy of, of, uh, damn, Gaz, Gaz T on the, uh, Atari Age board, though I bought it from his Etsy shop. Yes. And what is it? What is it? It is Ellen Sar. Yeah. I'm actually excited to play this one. Oh. <sighs> Alan Sark. Damn, that is a nice fucking box. Ah. Now, this was done by Orion. If I remember correctly, this came out on the Jaguar CD first. So, this is a cartridge release. Yeah, and it's very, very nicely done. But, whew, that looks pretty. I, I'm excited for this one, too, because I haven't played a point-and-click adventure on the Jaguar yet. Fairly unique. And I'm curious to see how this fares because, you know, it's a point and click game and from what I've seen of gameplay from when uh, Adam Korolik showed his copy, um, it looked as though it had some full motion video. In fact, he mentioned it, but, you know, I, I'm curious to see uh, what made it into the cartridge version. But damn, this, these instructions are thick. Ooh, very nice. Very nice indeed. It, it is not a cheap package. Oh, and of course, different languages. That's awesome. Damn, went all out. I mean, uh, I don't feel, I, I don't remember if there were alternate languages in Rebooteroids. I mean, let's face it, it's mostly for the American market. Or English-speaking countries, but you know, I, I wouldn't hold that against Atari H1 Iota. It was still a marvelous package. It's still one of my favorites. But damn, oh man, I'm really excited. I was going to go ahead and just talk more, but fuck, I I kind of want to go ahead and say, yeah, well, that's what I got in the mail. Thank you very much for watching. I'm going to go and play, but nah, I'll be cool. That's really awesome. You know, this is very nice, though. Uh, he was also selling uh, Alice's Mom's Rescue, again, on cartridge, not Jaguar CD, uh, which I'm, I'm thankful for because I've really lost all interest in the Jag CD. Um, <laughs> um, mostly because of the price, I won't lie. Uh, the Jag CD is a very uh, expensive item, especially considering there aren't too many official releases I want to play. I mean, what's the big draw? I mean, sure, there's Iron Soldier 2. I know you can play that on cartridge, though, but I've been told it's not quite the same experience. <sighs> That's a tad uh, concerning. And sure, Blue Lightning looks interesting. Uh, I wouldn't mind trying that or Battle Morph, since I do enjoy Cyber Morph. But really, I have no interest in the JAG CD. Although, you know, it does kind of suck to think that if I end up really, really liking Alan Sar, I won't be able to play its sequel, uh, Philia, unless I get a JAG CD, that, or I decide to start gaming on PC, which won't be happening anytime soon. Um, I just don't game on PC, it's not my thing. But I gotta say, ST, you did a fantastic job on packaging. Yeah, and really, this is a great package. So, thank you very much for watching this. Hopefully, this gives you something to look forward to, at least as far as the 
viewers that are interested in Jaguar are concerned. I'm sure many of my Sega fans are going to be like, fuck, not more Jag, not more Jaguar. <laughs> Please, enough with the Jag. We get that you like it, but move, move on, get back to Sega. Uh, and I, I will eventually, but I'm still enjoying my toy. Hmm? But yeah, that's nice. Well, I'm going to go and play that. Anyway, thank you again for watching. And if you are interested, go ahead and check them out on Etsy. Just look up Atari Jaguar. You'll see his listings. Now, if he's got any more games to sell. Uh, that, or perhaps you can get in touch with him via uh, the Atari Age forums, and maybe he'll be able to hook you up there. But anyway, that is it for now. May you stay warm, because let me tell you where the fuck I'm living. It is cold and windy as shit. <laughs> and I'm in fucking Maryland, so some cold shit here. <laughs> um, I'm sure if I have some viewers living out in Colorado or Wyoming or fucking Wisconsin, I don't know, be saying, like, you don't know what cold is. <laughs> that may very well be true, but I don't give a shit. It's still cold here. <laughs> so, anyway, thank you again. Stay cool.